Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Shirley's Cameron and today we are going to be talking about the giant African land snail. <laughs> Now this is Richard. He is about three years old and they live to about 10 years if kept properly in captivity. Now as you can see, he is huge. When he's fully stretched though, he is much larger. Now he is a fulica, so he's one of your common types of giant African land snails. So you would probably see him in most pet shops and in most um, groups online or wherever you will buy your snail from. So he would be the common one um, that you will buy. I also have another type of snail, which you'll see later on throughout the video, which is an albino, which means he has white flesh on him. So basically, the diet for a giant African land snail is really simple. They live on vegetation, but they are not entirely herbivores because they also have their daily sources of protein too. So basically, they eat any plant matters, they eat vegetables such as lettuce, um, sweet potatoes, peppers, they can have cucumbers, but you've got to feed them a variety of vegetables to ensure that they have the total amount of nutrition that they need. They will also need a cuttlefish bone in the enclosure with them at all times. Oh, there's a fly in on the screen, I thought it was crawling on my head. Um, they need cuttlefish bone at all times because they need a source of calcium for their shell to grow lovely and pretty. As you can see, Richard's is looking very nice and healthy. So this is what he's like close up. He, he like genuinely is a giant snail. So uh, you also need to feed them a source of protein once a week. Now you could do this by putting fish flakes in water and making a paste for them. Or you could feed them mints. Um, or you can buy um, protein mixes for them, which I have here. I've put them in these pots, but this is from Snail Pets. They have an SD shop, Etsy, sorry. And this is their Easter dinner lamb, rosemary and carrot mix. Sorry if you see flies going all around me. There's gnats and I thought I'd come outside for a lovely scene, but um, clearly it's not. So um, I've also got the uh, basic snail mix. And I have when they first started out and I've got their candy cane snail mix and they genuinely do smell really good as well They don't smell like any crap So um, I buy from snail pets for my mixes So for an enclosure you basically you can basically use a rub a storage box a fish tank if terrarium It's up to you what you use. There's a large variety of options you can use but you basically need to um, know that you need to keep high humidity. So you need um, less air holes to keep in the humidity. But you, you need enough air holes, but you don't need too much, if you know what I mean. Um, you'll also need to use coconut fibre as their uh, substrate. So they can dig down below into the substrate and burrow when they need to. They do this if they feel too warm and too cold, you know, stuff like that. He is absolutely adorable and that's the size of him if I could pull him off my hand he genuinely is a big snail you'll also need well it's mainly optional but I use it to put in some moss if you put moss into your enclosure you are holding the humidity that you need Basically, it holds it much better than no moss at all. So eggs. Giant African land snails lay hundreds of eggs per batch. I've got gnat fl gnats flying all around me. <laughs> so if you don't want hundreds of eggs, there's only one way through it, which is uh, culling the eggs, which is basically like you can either freeze them or you're going to have to crush them because you'll get loads of runts, which you don't want in the hobby because it spoils the snail species. Now, you can also 
um, have a little fun path so if you have kids you can take them out foraging so you could take them to a local forest or woodland area and go for a little forage to find um, plants you all materials such as logs and stone we uh, log sorry you don't want to use stones as men to say for your enclosure so you everyone knows that common little sticky plant you get these can eat them and same with like dandelions and you'll find them in nearly every woodland or forest area you go to so you can also use that in your cage and then you can just take a lot of logs as well for um you to use in the cage and i've got gnats all over me uh so to conclude basically they are easy to um keep and feed they're cheap especially when it comes to feeding because you can get plants outside or you can grow your own too and they are low maintenance they are one of the most low maintenance pets i've ever kept and i've kept a lot of weird invertebrates um, the Facebook group I joined to get Richard from and learned um, a lot from is the Jane African Land Snails with two snail emojis. Also the snail mix manager Alison is an um, um, admin in that group so you get all the fantastic advice and you can get your very own Jane African Land Snail if you go and join that group. So thank you so much for watching. Now to end this video I'm just going to show you a quick clip of Snowbell and Olaf the white flesh albino snails. So this is Snowbell, and if I turn him around, this is the white albino fleshed snail. Loads of people are always so shocked by how, uh, when I show them these snails because they are literally white. So they are brilliant. Now, like I said, you could get these in the hobby. They're very easy to keep. They are the exact same as the they are a type of filica, which I showed you just now, which is Richard. So this is Snowbell, as I said. And you can also get him if you join the group with Jermaine, Jane African Land Snails, with two snail emojis at the end. And um, I can help you then get him. Get one like this, not him. <laughs> so thank you all for tuning in to today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it, because I l loved filming the video let me just take a thumbnail picture okay so if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up and like if you're new to the channel and you've just checked it out subscribe and comment what you think about today's video thank you very much for watching